Hello everyone, welcome back to another Splatoon 3 video. So last time we checked out the undercover, undercover umbrella, and I consider it one of the worst weapons in the game. But, until either it gets a buff or a better kit, I'll most likely revisit the weapon once again. But in this video, we're going to check out the dually squelchers. So, dually squelchers are pretty much the... I feel like considered a great all-around weapon in general. Has the longest range out of all the duallys. Can move after a dodge roll. I think the kit's really good for it. Splat bomb and um Splat bomb for poking and then weight breaker for um locating enemy as well as dealing damage. I feel like that's a good kit. So we're gonna play some tower control, we're gonna play some matches. And then we're just gonna give our final break of the weapon, honestly. So I'll see you guys in the first match. Alright, first match, and we're going against a full-on Japanese team. <laughs> what my luck is. Okay. Okay. So, honestly, the only weakness that Dually Squelchers have is the ink. How much ink it consumes, like, from a Dodger and from the main weapon. Even the Splat Bomb. And, um... I guess any other long, longer-range weapon that has some... Um, Longer range dandy dual squelchers. Um, in general, because I think like it's still like I like the weapon. Honestly, I enjoy it a lot. Nice, you get the one guy, that's a wipeout. Nice, nice stuff, nice stuff. Okay, I'm gonna push up. Everything's going for me. Oh god. Oh, this could be... This could be interesting. Yeah. And we just got wiped the hell out. Damn. Well, at least... Well, at least my last um last stage just kicks in now, so. You know what that means. On there. Ah, nah, we can't catch up. Dropping the bubbler, so we can Ah, it's fucking bubbler, dude. Man. Ah, oh, see. Mmm. It's like four points, six points away. Damn. 
I guess. Hmm. I guess we go to the next um next game, I guess. Alright, oh, another just full Japanese team. I already know how this sometimes goes. Okay. We got two weapons back. No, three, I think no, do they have like three weapons that can outrange me, I think. E-leader, range blaster, rapid blaster, and then dapples are the only one I could range. But... I fucking miss. He jumps. He can't do that jump. I miss entirely, that's cool. <laughs> um. I'm stuck. Ah, couldn't escape. Nice. I didn't get him. No way. Oh, he has the, he, his other teammate was there. It's like, how did I not get him? No, his teammate's just there. Dog, I legit forgot his name. The weapon. Um, not the Rap Blaster Pro. The goddamn. Who did I kill? That was weird. Go that there. Uh, I got I got the E leader though somehow. Going constant bombs could work. <laughs> what the f Jesus Christ I just see like ba 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 that's all I hear oh my god whoa Got a bomb there boom that's game GG's Surprisingly, the one that gives me more of an issue was that range flash. I feel like I thought the Elyr would, um, how do you say, would be the problem just because of the long, he has to, it's pretty much the longest range weapon I think in the game, but no, it's just a range blaster. 
And then GG's though. GG's. Um... Um, I think we, I think we could do one more. We could do one more and we'll get my final break on the Dolby Squelchers. So I'll see you in the third and final battle. Alright, our final match. <clears throat> we got a Flingza this time. I think that's the same team. I think that's the same way. I think it is. Is it? I think it is. Are you serious? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, let me go back. Okay, <laughs> I tried. I don't think it was. I don't think it was a great idea to find any splat roller. I'll try pushing up, or try to at least. Well, like I said, push up or at least try. And I had my wave breaker ready too. Damn it! That rage blast is going for me. No, wait, no, what? The hell hit me? Was it the... Oh, the range blaster? I think the range blaster hit me. I think the range blaster hit me. Too bad. Oh, for Christ's sakes. I would... No way that in that actually directed me. I dodged though. Hello everyone, future me here. So after this is me editing right now. So I had to do photo frame on that blasted kill, and by the looks of it, as you can see from this image right here, that did not direct impact me. That's like right next to me. You can even see the blast right here. That's like a direct impact blast. So I don't know. I just want to point that out. I was correct that he didn't hit me directly so I guess they gave it to him but anyways back to the video I swear I keep getting my wave breaker and I just keep losing it for god damn it <laughs> can't get my special swear to god he sees me we'll get the E leader throw it up there Pressure. They're gonna try to destroy it. Oh god, go down. Nice wipe out. Give you a booyah for that. And that's GG's. I I feel like I didn't do much because how bad the range blaster was getting me, but um, I think that was the same. <laughs> I think that was the same thing from um, last game too. I'm gonna double check. Hold on, give me a sec. Um, yep, that is the um, that's the <laughs> that was the same um. Same sort of same team. The rapid blaster, the E leader, and the um range. Alright, so what's my final verdict on the weapon? I think like I said, I think it's a great all around weapon. The range could help, especially like I feel like splat zones I think would be the best one. The best mode in my opinion, just because it could capture zone really quick. Splat, splat bonds to poke, wave breaker to deal damage as well as locating them. You could probably finish them off if they ever get hit from it. I'd say tower control is also not... Tower control is like, I guess the second best um, mode. 
After that, it's probably Rainmaker. And then probably after Rainmaker's Clan Blitz. Well, that's my opinion on their ways. Like, I tried this weapon in all modes. And I feel like the best one is Splat Zone, in my opinion, for it. And um, what's, like a, like, a good build for it? So this is what I use. So, Last Ditch Effort, of course. Really, really good for dual squelchers, especially if you're, guy, if you're like, losing, need a comeback. Ink Recovery and Weapon ink Efficiency, I think it's perfect for the weapon. So, I think you'd also run, like, um, Comeback as well to boost some of your abilities. So, it could boost, like, Ink save, um, ink Saber, Special Gauge, uh, Special Charge Up, Special Saber, Sub Saber, all that stuff. But I think Last Ditch Effort, I feel like, could work well with it. Special Charge Up, of course, to, um... Charge up those weight breakers quickly. Ink resistant to take less damage and to improve mobility while in enemy ink. Special saber to reduce the special gauge after a splat, for example. I think without it, with the with the guy that had um respawn punisher, I think it would take like literally seventy five percent of my gauge, but I think it was like less than almost half. So that's good. There's run speed to increase, I guess. The movement with dual squelch but i think it was better with swim speed instead ink saver main is very important for this weapon as well because it will decrease the amount of ink consumed by your main wave especially because it'll take it'll it'll um consume a lot of ink when you dodge as well so you have to be careful with that and then ink saver sub because it's very it's um point uh, consumes a lot of ink so yeah honestly dual squelchers again just a great all-around weapon and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video you want to see more of these types of videos just um like and subscribe turn on notifications and i'll see you in the next one peace out have a great rest of your day